Hi everyone, welcome along to the first episode of Through the Banner. Cod and Skeet joining you as we run through some of the big issues in footy, plus the teams have just dropped. But first up, what a weird week in footy. All teams Cod have gone to Victoria, including our own West Australian clubs. Skeet, quite an amazing week. It was only around this time last year where everyone relocated to Queensland. Now everyone is in Victoria. So we already had Jetty US and Sydney there last week. And then in the past couple of days, it's been Fremantle, West Coast, Brisbane, Gold Coast, and then followed by Adelaide and Port Adelaide. It's unreal to imagine that all teams are in the same place at the same time. And off the back of that, only today have we had confirmation that Fremantle will play Carlton at the MCG Saturday night fixture at 5.40. The game originally set down for Optus Stadium. Then Victoria, Marvel Stadium in the mix. Tasmania a possibility. Geelong was firm favourite 24 hours ago. They land at the MCG. And I think it's a win for Fremantle in those circumstances. It would have been nice for them to go to Tassie and stay there for the entire week because they play there next week. But you don't want to be in Geelong on Saturday night when it was going to be 5 degrees and raining. I went to uni in Geelong. It's cold. You'd rather be at the MCG with atmosphere about it and, and playing on a ground where you can play in a grand final one day. And I think they'd be really, really excited about doing that. And that's a great opportunity for the players and the club. And the fans should be really looking forward to watching it on TV as well. Yes, it has become a Victorian hub for 18 clubs. We're still not quite sure where the Adelaide-Brisbane game will be played, but that'll be sorted out before this round starts, which is very shortly. Let's get into the team selection. Very important. We start with the Fremantle Dockers and the biggest name at their club returns. Matt Fife, back from that shoulder injury. It was a late withdrawal last week. They were hoping he'd be able to play. Unfortunately, he wasn't able to get up for that game. They lose Matt Taberner, who's obviously had the calf injury from last week. And they've made the only other change is Mitch Croden going out as the sub. But massive change for Fremantle. To get Nat Fife back, he's their captain, their leader does so much for them out in the field and that will be a significant change for them especially when you consider what's happened to Carlton. Yes, three big outs for them. Zach Williams suspended, Mark Murphy injured and of course Sam Doherty also has been sidelined. So three key experienced players on the way out. Levi, Levi Kasbolt, one of the inclusions along with Tom Williamson but this is a real chance for Frio to stamp their place as a real finals contender. MCG 5.40 our time. You'll see that game on at 7, mate. As for the West Coast Eagles, it's a Sunday game, so the squad's a bit bigger. They've taken a lot of players across to Victoria. What have they come up with? They take on the Sydney Swans. So bearing in mind that this is a Sunday game with more players named in than go out. So Jermaine Jones, uh, Zach Langdon, Nathan Vardy, Alex Witherden and Luke Foley have all been named in that extended squad. At this stage, only Jackson Nelson is the sub from last week and Liam Ryan, who's been suspended, will go out. Liam Ryan, a big loss for them. We know how important he is to that team. Uh, bad bump on Jason Joannison last week and, and only recently back into the team after injuring his leg. So it's, it's a big loss to their forward line. But when you look at the, the way that they're playing at the moment, that, that's the midfield that's been the problem. They haven't been able to get the ball down to their forward line. Off the back of that, the Sydney Swans, given it's a Sunday game, expanded squad, only Caden Brandt, the former Hawk, has been left out of the side. That match, 11.10am Sunday, it's Sydney. Good venue for them, taking on the Eagles in Geelong. By the way, who are you tipping out of those two matches the WA teams are playing? I, I tipped Carlton, then I saw the teams, now I'm back on Fremantle. I still think probably Sydney will, will get West Coast. I don't think GMHB Stadium is a great place for West Coast to play. I'm going Fremantle and West Coast. Let's hope the tipping is right if you're a West Australian footy supporter. Across the league, though, changes. There are a few which are worth noting across the nine games of this round 16. Yeah, the three big ones. Jordan Degoe comes back in for Collingwood. Just such an important player for them. Jack Billings gives some skill and leadership to St Kilda. And Grant Birchall, obviously, a really important player for the Brisbane Lions. Gives them some stability down back and leadership also. When you look at some of the big outs, Sean Higgins is out from Geelong. Matt DeBoer has been dropped by GWS, which is a real surprise. And Chad Wingard out from Hawthorne, which with an injury also. So a few changes across the, the, the teams this weekend as we look to go into this Victorian element. You speak of Hawthorne. What a decorated player. What a milestone for Sean Burgoyne. Saturday night at Marble Stadium, quite appropriately playing against the club where he made a name for himself. He's been an icon to the sport and he joins a very elite group of players to reach 400 games at this level. Yeah, he joins a very elite group. Brent Harvey, Michael Tuck, Kevin Bartlett and Dustin Fletcher are the only other guys to have done it. It's so hard to do. And he was 19 when he started. So a lot of these guys were 18 and 17 when they started playing. So he's had an amazing career. As you said, he started out at Port Adelaide, 157 games there, 242 games at Hawthorne. This will be number 243. 
aiming for win 261. There'd be plenty of people who'd be happy to play 261 games. He's played as a midfielder. He's played as a halfback. He's played as a half forward. Won flags. Played in other grand finals. He's an amazing player. He stated he didn't deserve to be thought of in the same breath as the likes of those players you mentioned who've reached 400 games already. We beg to differ. His nickname is Silk. You've been pretty smooth yourself, uh, Cod. Thanks for your company. This is the first episode of Through the Banner, keeping you up to date with all the AFL news and team selections. We'll see you next time on thewest.com.au.